Hello and welcome to Below the Curve Gaming. My name's Ben and today I'm unboxing my Hail Caesar army for Republican Romans. I've gone through a video where I've um, shown you the Caesarian Roman starter army for Hail Caesar from Warlord Games. And I've gone through a video with the Vitrix uh, Roman Legions and Chainmail Armour. And the final pack that I've ordered for the start to my army is the Republican Roman Cavalry from Vitrix. Um, get 16 models in this pack and it came in at uh, $29.95. I had to order them from Nanny Og on eBay, um, which were just at retail price. Um, reason I had ordered them was I was ordering the rest of the army at the same time and they were the only place I could get those boxes. So it comes as a kind of plastic pack. I have opened it just to check I've got all the models I was expecting. Um, but other than what you can see here, this would just be attached to the plastic packaging. Um, the pack comes with this topper and on the back of it there's the guide to what each part would be used for. So you can make a variety of different models from it um, or different kind of types of Roman cavalry in terms of Etruscans or kind of more generic options. I'm using these to make Germanic Roman cavalry, I do believe they are, um, from the Marian list. Um, so they get, I think they come with stubborn and tough fighters from memory, but I would have to double check. Um, just because I had the, a few points left over to increase them from the standard cavalry options. Um, for them, I'm going to make them as medium cavalry, and I'm going to make eight models out of this 16 into medium cavalry. And then I'm going to, that should be a standard set size unit front, which would be 160 millimeters in the setup that um, myself, Martin, and Dan are using. Um, however, you could make more or less depending on, on how your frontages are working in your games. I'm going to make two small stands of cavalry, which are going to be uh, light cavalry, and they will be four um, cavalry models to a small stand. So 80 millimeters should probably fit these nicely enough, and they're not going to look too cramped, but also um, it makes use of the last models I've got in this box. The only problem I'll have with light cavalry is obviously there's chain mail on them, so they're going to look a wee bit heavier than some other ones, but I won't put the shields on, so that will hopefully um, bring them back to light cavalry. Plus I've got some spare bear heads um, in my sprues from the other Victrix models, so they won't necessarily have to have helmets as well. So, show you what models you get, or what's uh, on each of the sprues, and we can go through them. The bag did come ripped at the side here, um, but it didn't make any difference to the models within. Um, so there's um, two sets of sprues of horses, and four sets of sprues of the men. So I'll go through the horses first. So each sprue um, does four horses, and let's say four sets of them. And each horse is kind of two sides to it, plus a saddle as well. Details look very crisp. Nice sharp kind of details. Hair looks good. Um, and the kind of equipment or horse tackle, I don't know what you would call it. Bridle and that looks pretty sharp as well. Um, look to be in quite nice poses, but they do also look like they'll be stable enough as well. And um, this one here is only going to have two bits attached to the base. However, it does look like with the base already attached, it should be pretty sturdy. This horse here will have three, uh, sorry, two again, uh, front and back as well. And these look to be, if I spin this round. They look to be kind of four unique horses. Um, get four sets of this, so your horses will have some kind of similarities across them. And these are the saddles, which look pretty straightforward. They do have some kind of um, kind of tabs in them, so hopefully that will mean that the rider sits in quite nicely. 
Um, in fact, they would be the other side. Judging by this, that would be the side that the rider would sit on. The other bits mean that they should plug in quite nicely to the horses themselves. So let's say four sets of them, and then four um, sets of the cavalry models, and you're getting four bodies per cavalry mod, uh, cavalry sprue. So these are the backs of them here. So three of them are one piece kind of uh, body and legs. Uh, one of them is body separate from the legs as well. This is a cavalry commander um, model with a sculpted breastplate. Then you've got the rest are just in chain mail as well. The cloaks um, are attached over the neck. Um, there's three kind of ones with clasps at the front. And then this one that's kind of um, if I turn this round, kind of open, that's for the cavalry commander. There is a wealth of different head options, so that's six here and a further six there, so that's 12 per sprue to make four bodies. Um, so there'll be plenty of options there, and yet again, the detail looks really sharp on them. Different helmet types, the ones over here, the last two, 11 and 12, are Etruscan, um, and they use different kind of horse. Um, here can helms or um, like plumage I suppose would be what I'm looking for and then you get a mixture of swords spears um, standard bearers more spears and javelins some shields I'm as I say using the shields for my medium cavalry some more spears and javelins nice trumpet there as well and yeah again some spears and javelins um plus swords some daggers or kind of gladiuses that could be um attached to the models individually and then some kind of empty hands as well which are always nice because particularly for the kind of lighter cavalry i might want to have them kind of throwing their weapons um i say a quite nice trumpet um and then these are the plumage for the helmets so that's them there there's six different options this one p2 um just move it oh crumbs can i work out where my finger is that one there is for the etruscan cavalry um and the rest will kind of just be glued on to any kind of cavalry there um and then where was the standard standards this way as well there's the standard bear as well which is quite nice it's quite a different look to the standards of the legion but i don't know if i've got quite enough standards from what i've been expecting so i might need to mix one or two of these in um i'm not sure how it'll look so I'll maybe trial it and see if it's going to look out of place and i won't do it but um quite nice to have some spares so that's the sprue there detail looks really really nice on them and shields yet again you can order little big man studio shields which i've ordered some for the um cavalry i just went for kind of more generic roman ones as opposed to the etruscan ones um so i'm just going to use them as kind of they'll be painted up like the rest of the romans but they're kind of germanic um people I would expect that the Romans would kind of equip them so they would fit in once their kind of equipment had been lost or damaged, etc. Um, this one here that's kind of separate body to legs, I should be able to then uh, pose it slightly differently from the others. Just need to make sure that I'm not kind of, if he's having a shield, he's not um, unable to to fit on the horse with the shield I might have to dry fit it before I kind of glue the details on or the bits together so that's all the sprues that I've got there um, as I say there's the instructions on the back here and it tells me kind of which heads I'm going to be using I'm going to be sticking to the Roman heads I think although by this point I don't think there was many Roman cavalry left it was often taken from kind of Gauls or um, Germans um, 
and kind of allied. I think Spanish is another option I've got. Um, so I'll just use them as Romans. I'll just have them as an allied faction that's then been kind of given weaponry um, from the command. Um, so that's the army that I've put together so far. So the next bits I'm ordering, I've ordered a Vitrix elephant, which you can take up to one elephant in the force. Um, I've ordered a SPQR um, by Warlord Games um, Scorpion and a set of characters from them as well, which they come in resin. So it'll be nice to see the difference between the metal and plastics. They're going to, the Scorpion will kind of round out the force and then the generals are just to kind of give me an option for each division. I should have two out of three so far worked out or models sorted for them. And I've probably got the spare models. I could make a plastic one if I wished as well. But I will, it's got Pulo and Verinus in it, which having watched Rome quite often, I am um, fancy having them modelled on the battlefield as well. Although I'm not using them as a Caesarian legion, so they won't necessarily be the actual models, or the actual a depiction of the characters. So that's the force. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Um, I'll put up a list at some point as well, so you can see what my initial plans are. I've only played one game, which I was using Daniel's uh, models for them, and the kind of list that he had worked out, or that we just put on the battlefield to, to test out. So um, I'm not sure quite how everything will go together, and if it will be that successful. However, it's a good start, I think, for the force. Gives me a bit of everything to try out, and then I'll no doubt order some extra stuff from there. So I'll build some models up. I'll hopefully post some pictures um, at the end of the videos if I get them done in time, and you can see some of the the built models from the sprues that I've just shown you. Thanks very much. So these are the final two models that I've built. Um, so far, and this is for the Republican Roman Cavalry from Vitrix. Built two different types, um, and I've still got to attach the shields to the model in the left here. Um, and the other one, I'm probably not going to put shields on. Um, I'm using as a kind of light cavalry. So, start with the light cavalry. Um, so, this is a... Whoop, I haven't glued on, as you can see. I haven't glued the, sh uh, the men to the horses as yet. The horses are really nicely detailed, went together pretty well. The saddle is a necessity, unfortunately. I was hoping to have some kind of, um, a bit like the Numidians, which d just had a kind of wrap over the top of the horse. But I don't know if they had actually the, the kind of harnesses as well. So might not fit too well. I think Martin's maybe bought a pack of the Numidians, so I can always uh, use some of them as well if he's got some spare. But they went together very nicely. And then this is the light cavalry um, I've built. So I'm using one of the bear heads from the Velites. And oh, spears or javelins a wee bit. It's a wee bit fragile. Um, but it's also a bit out of pose. Um, partly I think when I was trimming the mould line from the top of it. It seemed to kind of um, applied a wee bit too much pressure from it. But the detail's really nice on them. Um can hold multiple javelins in this offhand. There is a space for a shield. I might need to trim this down if I'm going to remove the shields from them. Um, I haven't decided as yet. I might have some spare, or I will have some spare Velites shields due to the fact that I'm building the... I've built the slingers, so I could always pop some of them on the light cavalry as well. Um, so that's certainly an option. And currently, just sits quite nicely. Whoop. Onto the horse. So that's the model there. So I'm going to have 12 of these. Uh, sorry, 10 of these. 8. <laughs> Start again. I'm going to have 8 of these. Um, which will be two um, stands of four, and they will be my light, uh, my small unit of light cavalry. It's falling off again. Um, and then this is the first of the medium cavalry I'm 
I've built, so he will be getting the shield. And he's got a short spear. In his, I'll just take him off. A uh, short spear in this hand. There's a wee bit of mold line that maybe. I think I have trimmed it. It just looks like it's still there. So I'll maybe give it a bit of a neaten up. Now I've added the cloaks to these, whereas for the lighter cavalry I didn't. Um, now the cloaks themselves are a bit of a pain because there doesn't seem to be an actual area that they're. That the kind of sculpting means that they fit nicely on. It doesn't look like the um, bodies have been sculpted in a way to to kind of accommodate them naturally. Um, it did feel like it was a bit forcing it into place. You'll notice there's a bit of a gap there as well. Um, it just about felt like it fitted, and as you can see, it's a bit off to the side. I think that's how it's meant to go on, but. I don't know if it was just the body I used and the cloak that I used or maybe not meant to go together but in looking at the instructions for them it didn't look like there was a specific cloak other than the oh I wonder if I cut off C2 actually <laughs> and looking at that C2 to fit B2 I think that might be the case and I'll have to double check what I've um, cut off because it might be that I've attached the wrong cloak which if that's the case, I take back my previous statement. It may well be that the bodies have a specific cloak to fit them. So that's something I'll need to bear in mind going forward. I do have another seven to build like this. Um, so I'll need to make sure that I yeah, add the right cloaks on. Because it did feel a bit of a struggle to, to attach that. It doesn't look too bad. And once it's sprayed, it'll look fine, I'm sure. I'm going to spray these probably a dark colour um, so then the chain mill can just be uh, kind of dry brushed over and keep the kind of um, the like colour in the holes quite dark and then I'll put a wash over them as well. Not quite sure about the cloaks and that as yet, what colour will do. Um, if I focus in on the head, the head was quite nice. The um, tails, like horse tail, horse hair tail, um, or plume, I suppose, is separate. You have to attach them, but attach quite nicely to the top and back of the helmet easily enough. And I just went for one of the Roman helmets. There's quite a lot of different Roman helmet options, and then there's the couple of Etruscan helmets. So I decided I would just go for Roman. Um, gear because um, I'm going to use them as Germanic cavalry but um, given Roman equipment. Shield will fit onto this wee shield boss on his arm and I'll paint that separately as well. I've got some nice little big men studio decals coming as well. A wee bit of mold line still on his arm so I'll need to trim that off. Um, well, there's quite a few mold lines on them. They weren't that difficult to remove although Judging by the mold line still on, it would uh, that might be a, a kind of bit of a falsehood. But um, yeah, the the models and the sculpts are very nice. So that's the cavalry built so far. Say the Republican Roman cavalry from Vitrix. I've got another seven of the medium cavalry. And seven of the light cavalry to build out of this box, which was or the pack, which was 16 in total. And I'll aim to get them built up soon. I'm going to hopefully get some pictures up on the blog once I've completed the rest of the um, models as well. So I can show the army in full. should say these um, models I'm going to place the bases, although I've seen the number on the bases. I haven't said the size, I suppose. So I'm looking for 50 mil deep um, rectangles and I'm thinking 80 mil across I should be able to this is a 40 by 80 but I'm hoping to get as you can see it's a bit too big for one at the moment but I'm hoping that I would fit four kind of onto an 80 by 50 it's a bit tight at the moment to fit Two onto half. Let's see if I can move it over here. It does look like there may be quite a wee bit of an overlap, so it might be a bit tight to fit them onto a 
an 80 by 50 so I might need to make the frontage of the small cavalry units a bit wider as well so this is 80 I might need to go to 100 by 50 and um, that might give me the options that I need Warlord do do 50 by 50 for their cavalry so it might be 100 by 50 as the way forward so need to to kind of um sort that out and I'll probably just 3D print some because the Vitrix models I got didn't come with bases with them I would have had to order them separate so I'll need to um, just 3D print some at the moment 3D printer is really handy for that kind of thing I mean as I say these are a bit squint um, or not squint but they're it's not quite as sharp um, the proportions as as you would expect um, from a kind of bot one or shop um, kind of bot one like the Warlord ones. Um, however, um, once there's a bit of basic materials on them, they should fit nicely enough together. So, need to print some bases for them. Say fifty by fifty or fifty by a hundred is probably the way I'm going to go. And um, for the medium cavalry, that would be fifty by two hundred. So it will be a slightly bigger base than the infantry, but um, I think it'll look like there's a bit more room to breathe for each of the cavalrymen around there as well. So once I've done that, I'll get some pictures up in the blog and then we'll do a video once we get the painting started as well. So any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below and keep your eye out for any further videos. Thank you.